What if we took Minecraft and combined it with Harry Potter? This time we only got the most amazing Harry Potter RPG in a block game. Join me on my 100 day journey through the streets of London, the many locations of the Wizarding World and with a Hogwarts so huge that even your mom could fit inside. Why would I say that? Why would I insult my viewer? Your mom is amazing. Keep in mind that a Harry Potter Minecraft day is a little bit different from a normal one since wizards don't sleep. Day one, I wake up in my bed in my room. Wait, what? I'm not under the stairs anymore? Hell yeah, it must be my birthday. I go straight up to the attic, cause there's probably something important hidden there by my filthy mudblood stepparents. They'll be the first ones to go when I'm a fully fledged death eater. Is this the chamber of secrets or something? Nothing of value was up there, except three horror cruxes, but Dumbledore hasn't taught me about that yet. So I go down and I realize I have no stepparents, so who's supposed to be my motivation for going to Hogwarts and becoming a wizard and overthrowing the government? It's all good though, cause I got a letter from Hogwarts. One letter from Hogwarts. Maybe I'm not the chosen one after all. We are pleased to inform you that you have been placed at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Who would have thought a magical bus conveniently parked outside my house, not me. Welcome to the night bus, emergency transport for the stranded witch or wizard. My name is Stan Shunpike. Sure, being 11 years old, I'll get on your empty magical bus in the middle of the night to travel to a bar. Barely made it out of life. Here we go. All right, Hermione is drinking some beer. That's not Hermione. Stopping for a drink or just passing through. Five drinks and then passing out, you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm 11. I explore the back of the bar and as you'd expect, I stumble upon a big bearded drug dealer. <gasps> Hagrid! Ah, oh, a new Hogwarts dude. I'm f***ing Harry Potter. What are you talking about? Diagon Alley is right behind the wall, you see. I don't know if the fat man slipped something into my beard, but holy shit, the wall is moving. Diagon Alley. Here you can purchase supplies and solve quests for the shop owners. This is so immersive. Can I speak to these people? Can I kill them? If I'll take a freaking Davra. Die. I'm from Slytherin. Oh, my father will hear about this. I spent an entire day just admiring Diagon Alley. Amazing. Amazing. Wait, that's Harry. Harryana Potter. I finally reach the bank. They say Gringos is the safest place on earth. <laughs> it's certainly not the friendliest. Man, these people are short. Holy shit. Is that Joe Biden? That's Joe Biden. I got hairy legs. They don't look remotely this. Okay, they're starting to look a little bit similar now. Okay, I can see it. They were too short to stop me from going to the railway, so I just passed right through. Okay, they just let you in like that? All right. This gets kind of spooky quickly, but I investigate further. Oh my God. Where am I? I find this lever, which I don't know the purpose of, so of course I pull it. How do I drive? I guess I can't shoot that target because I'm not a wizard yet. I don't get to ride the train quite yet, but luckily my non-existent parents had invested in some hedge funds for me when I was very young. I snatch the cash and I scoot out of there. I'll have to return someday when I'm a wizard and grab that philosopher's stone before the fat drug dealer can get to it. I spent the entirety of day five engaging in a fair bit of tomfoolery in Diagon Alley. What's up, Phyllis? What are you reading? The Daily Prophet? Hello? Hello? Can't you see I'm busy? I've got deadlines. On day six, I finally find Ollivanders, the wand shop. You need a wand? He had me play some stupid game to be able to make a purchase. I think he just wanted free labor. I am now officially a wizard. <gasps> oh my god. I can already do magic? Wingardium Leviosa. Bruh. Am I making him fall in love with me? Let's marry. I'm not actually quite a wizard yet, so I buy my books and my clothes and now I'm a wizard. You're a wizard. Gabby. I'm a what? Day seven and I'm done in Diagon Alley. Hagrid, did you see that? Did you do that? Hmm. I go back through the bar, talk to the bus driver's only job is to drive the chosen one around and he tells me to walk. What? So I walk through the streets of London and it's just like I remember it. Trash everywhere. Well, Guardian Leviosa, this out of here. Clean the streets of London. Discovered Big Ben. This is amazing. I love this. Can I go in there? Can I meet the queen? Is she in there? Okay, I know the queen doesn't live in there, but I did meet the queen and we spent some nights together. I am the chosen one after all. They're just flexing the map, okay? That's why I'm supposed to walk. I could have taken the bus. Come on. I'm happy that I walked though, because I met the guy from the Corridor Digital YouTube channel. I don't gotta walk there. I'm Harry Potter. I can probably fly there if I wanted to. Oh my god! This is it. This is where dreams come true. I just realized this is this is London. Yeah. All those people I walked by, they're they're muggles. Disgusting. Dude, if I knew Ivada Kadabra, I walk into the train station, blending in like any muggle would with his wand ready to swish and flick. I immediately find platform nine and ten, so I spend some time running into walls with no success until I found a group of gingers. Oh my god, okay, this is looking like a group of wizards to me. The elephant in the in the train station right now is that we're all wizards, right? That is Ron. Oh my god, Ron. Can you tell me how to get to the platform? Not to worry. All you have to do is walk straight at the barrier between platforms 9 and 10. Don't stop and don't be scared. That's what I did. Best do it at a bit of a run if you're nervous. I f***ing did. I cracked me skull, mate. I give it a 53rd attempt. And it worked. 
All aboard the Hogwarts Express, I guess. Oh my god, am I gonna get to sit with Harry and Ron? Or I mean, Ron and Hermione? I search every single compartment for my friends until the next morning. Until finally. Hermione! <gasps> That's them! Wait, what? There must be something wrong. If Harry Potter is here, then who am I? I'm the chosen one. I, I spent those five days with the queen. I'm the boy who lived. Who am I? What am I? There must be some transfiguration spell. This can't be. This is an imposter. I begin to question my sanity as I sit down in my own compartment, all alone on the Hogwarts Express. We got stopped by some Dementors on the way, so the train ride took a little bit longer than expected. Okay, how great it won't sound. I remember you from Diagon Alley. Oh look, the drug dealer from the back of the bar. He tells me to follow him, so I I do, because I'm a trusting person. Fuck, Hagrid is pacing away from me. This is embarrassing. You know you're fucking out of shape when Hagrid is outrunning you. We arrive at the boats for our ride to Hogwarts. Dude, that's the funniest part about Harry Potter. They got magic, and they're all wizards, but they still have this fucking technology from the 1700s. They don't have electricity. They got torches all around the castle. Explore the turrets and the towers get lost in the forbidden forest. Uncover the mysteries of the castle and its grounds. I make my way towards Hogwarts and the dealer tells me to go talk to some McGonagall character. I'm starting to think this guy works here. I arrive at the castle and one of the first faces I see is Conan O'Brien, the talk show guy? Wait, he's a, he's a wizard? Now in a few moments you'll pass through the these doors. It's now very early in the morning of day 18 and I finally enter the Great Hall. Is that Dumbledore? Welcome to another year at Hogwarts. Let the sorting ceremony begin. For the longest time I thought it was Harry Potter, but when I really think back, my path has always been quite clear. They're muggles. Disgusting. Dude, if I knew about a Kadavra, let me think, I better put you in. Hufflepuff. Slytherin! Yes! Let the feast begin. Oh my god, they can do that, but they got torches instead of electricity? Pleased with the house I was ordered into, I reward myself with a little bit of extra sleep and I skip the first few classes. Like a Slytherin. On day 20, I meet the Weasley brothers who give me the Marauders map. I don't know why they did that, I'm not even the chosen one, but I'll take it. A few moments later, I meet Draco Malfoy. We shit talk the Weasleys together. My father told me the Weasleys have red hair, freckles, have more children than they can afford. They're pathetic. Say it louder for the people in the back, Queen. I now try to locate the Charms classroom and this is the most painful thing I went through during my whole year at Hogwarts. And I just had the misfortune of talking to the Weasley brothers. Prefects tend to hang around the study hall by the Transfiguration Courtyard. You can ask them for directions. So either I find the classroom or the Transfiguration Courtyard to find directions to the classroom. None of them being easy to find in this giant maze called Hogwarts. I spent so many days, I even ended up in the principal's office. I don't even ask. He tells me that you should smash like and subscribe now. On day 24, I found the greatest thing in this game so far, hands down. PS1 Hagrid. Give it up. Also the fat lady, that's her name. Don't cancel me, cancel J.K. Rowling. Well, she has plenty of that, but... I enter the room and who's in there if not Harry Potter himself? Evada ke friggin Davra! Harry Potter, you dirty muggle! He's not actually. You are a dirty muggle! Hi there, I'm Hermione Granger, I don't care. But those were just distractions from my real mission, which was still finding my way to class. If Professor Flitwick isn't retired at this point, that is. I'm jumping down here, I don't even care. I'm a wizard! 31 fall that maybe I'm a Jedi day 26 that I finally find this transfiguration courtyard I've been hearing so much about no, but I did see two familiar faces never long bottom Luna Lovegood Watch out for narcos. I can tell you that your head is full of them. What are you talking about you crazy person? I search all day until finally charms classroom <laughs> Collect the five stars scattered throughout this maze of corridors. I gotta find a bunch of stars in a dark maze. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm probably gonna run into Voldemort if I know Dumbledore and his stupid plans right. I completed the maze without teleporting to Voldemort in the graveyard. Yes! All the stars have been collected and Gryffindor has been awarded with 15,000 points. After learning my first spell, I flex on some mudbloods in the corridor and that's the end of day 28. In fact, I take an extra day off just to flex on these filthy mudbloods. Day 30 and it's time for Professor Lupin's class. I'm Professor Lupin. No, that's not how he speaks. He puts me through an advanced aiming course where I get to take advantage of my past as a full-time MLG no-scoper. Dude, 
Why would Lupin put me through this? This is super dangerous. This is only the beginning, he says, as he now forces the 11 year old to fight evil monsters. Wait till my father hears about this. On day 32, I finally get to meet everyone's favorite Snape. There will be no foolish wand waving or silly. As such, I don't expect many of you to appreciate the subtle science and exact. He makes me his errand boy for the day, and that's it. Thank you, my slut child. Day 34, and it's finally time for child endangerment with Professor Flitwick. This time, I'm only fighting the most feared beings in the wizarding world the mentors and mountain trolls. You know, the standard education for 11 year olds. And you think Voldemort's the bad guy for trying to put an end to this? Excellent! The charm vacuum emendo is now unlocked! One of my students, Hermione Granger, might be able to teach you a new spell. Flitwick, I just saved your ass. I killed the troll. But you wouldn't know because you've been here hiding all day while your students is doing the dirty work. Stupefy. Day 36, I take a day off from my trauma. The one that is to be acquired when I have to engage in conversation with the Mudblood Gryffindor. But before that, I take some time to explore Hogwarts. I stumble upon the Screaming Plant Classroom. Can't wait for that one. Those are the things. Oh my god! On day 38, I find something very peculiar. Oh my god! Holy shit! The wall is coming down! I pull this very subtly placed lever and an opening emerges from the wall. I'm kinda spooked to go in there. It's the room of requirement, and I require comments, so fill the comment section with glory to Slytherin right now. I spend the entire day searching for secrets. I open up a mysterious chest that ends up backfiring, but the attacking books lead me to something very big. My first horror crux. Day 39, I talk to Hermione. She tells me about her activism and she forces me to become one too. They are neither paid for their work nor given any holidays, so I'm fighting to change the working conditions. Mm. Really? I'm gonna be some fucking activist now? I'm a Slytherin. I'm gonna kill every muggle in this world, including you. So I walk to Hogsmeade to hang flyers for her cause, which is not a small walk either. The things you do for love. I mean, what? Day 40, and I finally arrive at Hogsmeade. I hang the flyers where nobody can find them and I head back to Hogwarts. All of a sudden Hermione is now my teacher and she teaches me a spell to unlock doors. Can she teach me the spell that unlocks her heart, you know what I'm saying? Harry Potter, more like heated parkour. I don't know if Hermione found out that I'm an aspiring Death Eater, but she did me dirty here. Me. Now it's time for a riddle and I want you to solve it. All things it devours, birds, beasts, trees, flowers, gnaws iron, bites steel, grinds hard stones to meal, slays kings, ruins town, and beats high mountain down. Is it lion, wind, water, time, death, want, or amogas? Pause the video, leave a comment right now what you think, and I might be able to get out of here. I picked... Probably time, let's go. Seemed to have been the right decision. Day 43, I meet the talk show host again. Conan O'Brien. Day 44, I meet him again. And he's watching, wait, that's where I'm supposed to be. They're waiting for me. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Time to practice for my Quidditch career. Oh shit, oh shit, Nimbus 2000, here, here I come. I fly over the Quidditch playing field. I fly under the legendary Hogwarts bridge, collecting every fire circle that could be seen. That's the best time in the history of Hogwarts, Madame Mooch says. But I don't settle for the best, I wanna be the greatest. So I go back to Diagon Alley to check out Nimbus 2000. But first, I have a bank to rob. Do you remember this place on the target? If everything goes according to my plan, I should be able to start the minecart now. I wasn't a wizard, but now I am! Holy shit! I stupefy another target and I finally reach the vaults. Joe Biden is here again. Joe Biden, what's up? I enter one of the vaults and I expect to find the Philosopher's Stone, but instead I find the Sword of Gryffindor. I find a bunch of gold too, so I should be rich now. I'm far from rich. Well, the heist was successful, but I'm back Nimbus 2000 less. Day 51 is a big day. We're learning the classic most rudimentary skills as levitation, swish and flick. Charm and Guardian Leviosa will allow you to levitate certain objects. This mission involved the most problem solving so far, and it actually took me a few days to complete with the help of my Twitch chat. Wait, you're not a follower on twitch.tv slash Click and follow. On day 55, I learned the spell Bombarda Maxima with Lupin, Latin for blow shit up. I swear swim, I blow shit up and swim some more. Then I pull a chain and suddenly, frogs. Why are there frogs? Then rats. Then pixies. Should I talk to a lawyer? 15 points to Slytherin. On day 58, it's finally time for another child-friendly class with the screaming plants that literally kill you if you don't wear ear protection. Seems a little bit overpowered. Why would you need to become a dark wizard and learn Avada Kedavra when you could just have a plant in your pocket? Luckily, we had these earmuffs, so I didn't die. 
Wearing earmuffs, and I gotta make it through. Maybe I need to stupefy him. Oh, replant mandrake. What do you mean? Okay. I collect all the stars, and I even found a golden snitch as a bonus. This class took a little bit longer than I would like to admit. Look how beautiful this thing is at night. On day 61, my teacher is a cat? Oh, it was a human this whole time. It was, it was my god. This class teaches me the spell Vera Verta, which transforms objects. Screw me sideways and call me Mad-Eyed Moody. This is without shaders. Look at this floor. I find out that I'm a vampire, but that's okay. This mission involves transforming these things into magnets so I can complete the maze. Seems simple enough. Oh my god, I got f***ing Vera Verta in my face. Then the cat lady makes me fight knights in armor. I use the explosion spell followed up by quick Vera Verta to transform them into a bird that then becomes a key. Complicated wizard shit here. I use the keys to open a few doors and I met with a life-threatening screaming flat, but I know how to handle him, so it's all good. Looking for the Defense Against Dark Arts classroom on day 65, I run into Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I suppose you want to set the Malfoy family in some way. Get to see you know you're superiors. You are aware, no doubt, that the Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids on private houses. Of course, the blunt traitor Weasley is involved. Father told me. So basically, the Malfoys have a bunch of items of the sassy baka nature. So I need to go to their house, remove the items before the cops can get to them, then sell them on the dark web for some profit. Being desperate for my Nimbus 2000, of course, I agreed to this job. Oh my god, it's Lucius Malfoy. First thing I do is Vera Virto, this little plant that becomes a trampoline, and in five minutes I've caught more golden snitches than Draco ever did. And it's in his house. I gotta give it to the Malfoy family for their engineering abilities though, look at that, holy crap. The spooky music turns even spookier as I approach the basement. I feel like I'm gonna find like some cannibal dungeon down here where they're cooking people. After I'm done rubbing them dry of any extra stuff lying around, I talk to Draco who gives me my shopping list. One Death Eater mask! This is where my evil story arc begins. One cursed skull. I told you these guys were cannibals. Collect the illegal items from Malfoy Manor. I spend a whole day just searching for these items, because this house is massive. Then I find this room, which I don't think I was supposed to enter. I open up a chest that contains some gold. Death Eater mask, another one? One to sell, one to wear. When I finally think I'm done robbing and helping the Malfoy family, I go outside and I look back at the house. I'm definitely not done rubbing them. Now I'm done. On day 69, I go into Diagon Alley, the size version. These people look pretty esteemed. I wouldn't call these crack dealers. Are you lost? I wouldn't call this a bad place to be. I say as I stumble upon the Death Eaters. So I joined them. I'm a Death Eater too now. I'm in the cult. I'm part of the gang now. I've got my glasses on top, but that's okay. Eventually, I find the guy who wants to buy the illegal item, so I sell it to him. On day 71, I think I ran into a guy on the different dark side. Did you ever hear the tragedy? Oh my god! I was saying the line because I saw, did you ever hear? And then it actually said the tragedy. I thought not. It's not a story Dumbledore would tell you. Deathly Hallows is a pathway to many abilities. Some consider to be unnatural. The day after that, I run into some Gringotts bankers down here. Isn't that corrupt? Then I find this mysterious chest, but it's locked behind bars. If I could vera verto this wall into a rabbit. Yeah, I think I need to improve my wizarding skills for this one. I'll come back one day. Day 74, it's time for a class with my favorite teacher, Lupin. Yeah, turn on some. Me and Lupin start vibing immensely. You do be passing with Lupin in here. You see, I've been observing you. Listen, I like you, Lupin, but I don't feel like I'm completely comfortable with that. He now teaches me. Expecto Patronum! Hmm. And out of nowhere, Dementor emerges, and I'm just supposed to fight it now? What? Expecto Patronum! Okay, I did it. Lupin, I'm done. I'm a dark wizard. You are not done, boy, he says, and puts me through this. We got five of them! After getting a few soul jobs by the Dementors and then scaring them away, and I have to escape this massive cave by completing puzzles. Forward, left, forward, right, forward, right, forward, left, forward, right, forward. Ah, what the fuck? On day 76, I find myself in an even bigger cave with Dementors guarding every corner. A fall from this height would even kill a half-Jedi, half-wizard double breed such as myself. I have to jump between the pillars and then put this healing potion on top. Expecto Patronum! I failed the very last jump so many times though, so this, this takes a long time. Yes! Good job, ya cheeky little scrub, he says, and I'm done. Let's fast travel like a Jedi Master. No fall damage, baby. Seriously, why am I not even half dead from that? I stumble right upon some secret tunnel I've never seen before. Unfortunately, I can't breathe underwater because I haven't robbed Snape yet, working on it. When I feel like I've found the deepest depths of Hogwarts, it just keeps getting deeper. I'm about to find some freaking cave trolls here. No cave troll, but I find this, so I blow it up, and then when God him Levios, and then acquire a golden snitch. I spend the whole of day 79 exploring the lowest parts of Hogwarts, finding secret rooms, the dungeons, and eventually... What is this? Wine cellar? Oh my god, I can go inside the... 
What? So apparently the Hufflepuff common room is inside a wine barrel. That explains why they lose every year. They're just drunk. Got the Hufflepuff ghost is probably... Look how nice he looks. Not even a scratch on this man. He doesn't even have a wand. He probably never knew magic. On day 82, I'm in London trying to look for the Ministry of Magic. Judging by where the compass is pointing me, I assume I have to swim. I swim across the river, but there's no way to get up. Anywhere. I spent the whole night doing this and I realized that I probably need a broom to fly over the river. So I go back to Diagon Alley and I come to find that even the most basic beat up broom from Wish costs more than I can afford. Frustrated and angry, I go looking for Nocturne Alley to sell some illegal items to make a few quick bucks, but instead I find, oh shit, maybe I can earn some money here? There was no money to be made here, so I gotta rob the bank again. But there was one problem. How can I get this minecart on the second track? Because when I pull this, it ends up there. In other words, there were two completely unexplored railways and no, I cannot walk. After a long investigation, I found no solution, but I will be back one day. I talk to the goblins up top and they tell me there's dragons and shit guarding some of the vaults and I ain't met no dragon yet, so I think there's more to that place. Day 87, back at Hogwarts, I find the hospital room. Conan O'Brien is in a hospital bed. What the fuck? My friend is here because he ate a pound of doxy eggs for a bet. I do that too. I need my broom. I go back to the Great Hall, establishing Slytherin dominance by jumping on the table. Then I find a hidden staircase. As you can see, it was quite the walk. But if it isn't the trophy room I just discovered and we are making bank. I forgot to tell you that after visiting Gringotts a few days ago, I went back to Diagon Alley, the size version, where this man sent me on a quest to deliver some items for a certain Blaze Sabini. This is what I spent the next two days doing. I told you this place is grotesquely big, and when I finally reached the top of the astronomy tower, which was not easy to locate even with a compass, this guy tells me, Blaise Sabini, I don't like that guy. A bit full of himself. He was here earlier, but he left. Are you kidding me? I've spent days. So I gotta go to the study hall where I finally find Mr. Blaze. I appreciate you delivering my package. Here, take this. Hmm. 150 quid. I then notice. Oh! I have enough! So on day 9, I'm back in Diagon Alley once more to buy my broom so I can fly over to the Ministry of Magic. Welcome to second hand. <laughs> I ain't buying no second hand broom. Well, actually I was. I couldn't afford the Nimbus. What do you mean I can't fly in this area? This is Diagon Alley, come on. Well, as long as I can fly in London. Are you fucking kidding me? Now my Twitch chatters decided to tell me there's a bridge over this water. I don't know why I didn't think about this. I've actually been to London many times, god damn it. Oh my god, travel to Ministry of Magic. Why am I jumping? I'm so excited. Are we gonna fight Voldemort? At the Ministry of Magic, I hope no Death Eaters show up or anything like that. There's even the backwards elevators. Look at this. Wait, it's not an elevator if it goes only horizontally. That would be a... Or I don't know what that... Horrocrux? I find this man who wants to sell me a course in Apparition, the ability to teleport. Are you interested in taking the course? You need only part with... Is that 500 gold? Do I need... Mm. Dude, I just bought a broom to get here. Which I didn't even need to do. And now I don't have the money for the course. God damn! Okay, so you can sell stuff here as well. You don't gotta go to the black market, mm. the deep web. So I sold my broom and Diagon Alley. Now back at the Ministry of Magic for the second time. The next couple days I spend doing the apparition course. Where I get to teleport around, solve a few puzzles. And then finally something involving music. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. Lucky I'm a musician, okay? I'm happy to inform you that you have passed. Thank you. All of a sudden. What? Hmm. Is that Voldemort? Uh oh. Death Eaters! That's me! This is my calling! How do I join them? How do, am I supposed to fend them off? They're my friends! I don't want to betray them! I was forced to fight my own kind. This must be some evil plan orchestrated by Dumbledore. Oh my god, there's so many. Master Skywalker, what are we going to do? I was a part of your gang. I looked up to you guys. I'm wearing the Death Eater mask. Why do you gotta turn on me like this? I'm wearing the glasses on top, but still. I guess I gotta become a Gryffindor now. My evil arc is over. After I defeat the Death Eaters, reinforcements arrive. Don't worry, I'm here. I've brought reinforcements. Oh, it seems you have the situation mm. under control. What situation? Death Eaters, nonsense. These are outrageous mm. claims. One of your students accidentally blew up the wall and now you're trying to cover it up? Mm. I'm keeping an eye on you. Well, I can't blame him. I'm wearing a Death Eater mask. I'd accuse myself too. Many years ago, I founded the Order of the Phoenix, a secret society to oppose Lord Voldemort. You must go there now. So I'll listen to Dumbledore's order to go find the order to bring order to the Wizarding World. Death Eaters, attacking mm. the Ministry. They're getting restless. Now a break out from Azkaban. We must go there now. We're going to Azkaban? Yes. Take me to Azkaban, daddy. Holy shit. We're at Azkaban. This is amazing. This is more Azkaban than you get in all of the movies. Help me. What are you doing? Where am I? Can't see shit. 
I just couldn't bring myself to killing this many Death Eaters even after being betrayed at all. So that was essentially the only struggle with this battle, my inner battle to proceed with this operation. Eventually I brought myself to it and we won easily. <laughs> and that was my entire Harry Potter Minecraft journey. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more of this. I might stream it on my Twitch as well in that case. Now click the video on the screen because it's just as good as this one if you like this one that is. Thank you. Peace.